tensions on the rise this morning after President Joe Biden said the Russian military has the capacity to invade Ukraine this week. Biden reiterated during a call with Ukraine's president that the U.S. would respond swiftly and decisively should Russia invade. The Biden administration is warning Americans to leave Ukraine as soon as possible because there will be no rescue missions if and when the invasion begins. Oil prices steady this morning after jumping to their highest levels in seven years due to the fear of the possible invasion of Ukraine. Western countries are promising sanctions on Russia, one of the world's biggest oil producers, if it does invade. Brent crude trading over $94 a barrel, West Texas Intermediate just over 93. The FBI needs your help finding a serial bank robber, the so-called Route 91 Bandit. He's robbed at least 11 banks in northeastern states over the past five months. There's a reward of up to $10,000 for information that helps the FBI catch him and convict him. Jurors in Sarah Palin's defamation trial against the New York Times will resume their deliberations this morning. The jurors must decide whether the Times is liable for defamation and if Palin deserves financial damages. Palin says the paper accused her political action committee of inciting violence in the Gabby Giffords case. Palin says the paper's actions affected her reputation and emotional well-being. Walmart has dropped its mask mandate for all vaccinated employees. However, unvaccinated employees and those who work in pharmacies will still be required to wear them. In addition, the COVID-19 sick pay policy is being eliminated in March. A reward of up to $20,000 is being offered for information about a massive fire that destroyed a QVC distribution center in North Carolina. The incident happened back in December, and over 300 employees were working when that fire tore through the building. One of those employees died as a result of the fire. Ivan Reitman, the influential filmmaker and producer behind many of the most beloved comedies of the 20th century, like Animal House and Ghostbusters, has died. Reitman's family says he died peacefully in his sleep Saturday night at his home in California. He was 75 years old. While Valentine's Day might be associated with romance, the real story behind its namesake is one of heartbreak. One academic journal tells the story of a Roman saint from the third century named Valentine Dertini. He was jailed for using his powers as a Catholic priest to help couples get married, going against the orders of the emperor. He was later beheaded for his actions. Valentine reportedly wrote a letter signed from your Valentine before his death, giving rise to the saint. After being in the lead for most of the game, the Bengals fall short and lose to the Los Angeles Rams in Super Bowl 56. Rams wide receiver Cooper Cup was named MVP after the game, winning touchdown. Cup had eight receptions and two touchdowns. The last time the LA Rams took home a Lombardi trophy was in 2018. And that's today's nine at nine.